Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Just in, Obama staffer's secret coup against Trump just went into full effect for Dems to take over. President Barack Obama and his minions are applying community organizing to elections. Obama's former staffers are running for a number of elected office positions this year in hopes to challenge and unseat Republicans. But the huge blue wave they originally predicted is now looking like more of a blue drip. Americans just aren't buying what they are selling. However, the left does see this as a secret coup against Trump so the Democrats can retake power. Good luck with that. There are at least 64 former Obama staffers running for federal, state or local office. More are crawling out of the Marxist woodwork every day as deadlines approach for filing. One of these progressive foot soldiers is civil rights attorney Colin Allred. He allegedly stepped down from his Department of Housing and Urban Development position in January 2017 because he was troubled by the prospects of Donald Trump's incoming administration. So instead, he threw his hat into the political ring to run for office by challenging Texas Republican Rep. Pete Sessions in April 2017. Allred is running in Texas' 32nd Congressional District. 28 other Obama staffers are running for the House of Representatives. Several staffers are running for city council and others are running for governor. According to the Obama Alumni Association, a group run by former members of his two administrations. By the way, there are a number of Democratic Socialists of America running for office who are connected to Barack Obama and Bernie Sanders. At least 17 are in political races across the country. A number of DSA comrades are running in Texas. Go figure. These Obama sycophants claim that Trump's racially charged administration has pushed them to the brink. That's just ridiculous because Trump is demonstrably not a racist. Unlike a number of Democrats I can think of. If they told the truth, it's because Trump is not socialist enough for their tastes. But I digress. Others are having a conniption over Obamacare. Looking back on last year, it was the effort to take down the Affordable Care Act with no viable replacement, said Tom Malinowski, 52, the former Assistant Secretary of State for Democracy, Human Rights, and Labor. Malinowski is now running for Congress in New Jersey's 7th Congressional District. Considering that New Jersey is rife with illegal Muslim immigrants as well as illegal immigrants in general, this guy fits right in. It was the Muslim ban, and attacks on immigrants, it was the tearing up of alliances and commitments internationally. It was the taking down of environmental protections, it was refusing to invest in infrastructure as Trump had promised, he explained. Pass the shovel. The Grio has more on the meltdown. And, in Malinowski's opinion, the straw that broke the camel's back is bigger than Trump himself. The silence and active complicity of Republicans, particularly in the House of Republicans, he added. Malinowski wants to flip the Republican stronghold in the House. He's vying to unseat Republican Rep. Leonard Lant in the Democratic primary on June 5. Obama also left an indelible impression on Alamo Markamp and Ajar. A lot of us Obama babies were inspired by the president's call to action when he retired, Kamp and Ajar said. Kampan Ajar is now running as a candidate in California's 50th Congressional District, which will have its primary on June 5. The 29-year-old once served as a deputy regional field director for Southern California on Obama's 2012 campaign and later at the White House. I kind of inherited the enthusiasm that Obama created in my area in 2012 and 2008, he told NBC News. Kampan Ajar is being billed as a young, handsome Latino Arab American. Kampan Ajar whose mother is Mexican-American and whose father is Palestinian-American, says he spent a lot of time speaking to Hispanic voters in his district to get them to the polls. Obama was smart about setting up an attempted coup. He went with young candidates that tended to be non-white, or at the very least are progressive Democrats. This guy is one of the chosen to attain office. Kampan Ajar has spoken and written about his childhood, which was spent in Gaza, Palestine and later in California. He says the prospect of a wall on the southern U.S. border is personal for him and his family. He also remembers the moment the second Intifada broke out and what it felt to be stuck within walls. I bet he does. I wonder if he remembers persecuting innocent Jews. Back to Malinowski, who has won the endorsement of all six Democratic county organizations in the district. From standing up to dictators as an assistant secretary of state to working to forge peace while on the National Security Council. Tom Malinowski has spent his life serving our country and fighting for human rights, DCCC Chairman Ben Ray Lahan said in a statement. Tom's deep knowledge, unwavering principles and dedication to regular folks will make him an excellent congressman. No matter the challenge or obstacle, Tom gets the job done and it's why he's built such a strong campaign. 
These are the kind of Marxists that Obama trained to carry on as he strives to stir up even more divisiveness currently among Americans. And there's more. Obama left quite a leftist legacy behind for those who want to follow in his liberal footsteps. Deb Holland, is working to become the country's first Native American congresswoman and credits President Obama for instilling in her the courage to be a game-changer. I feel like if I hadn't worked for the president, I would never have had the courage or the wherewithal to run," she said. I think about him every single day. The cult of Obama is evidently alive and still unhinged. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.